Hello there and welcome to my YouTube cycling channel. Today I'll be explaining about the two limiter screws on the rear derailleur that many people start adjusting when they have a problem with their gears. Just to be clear, these screws have absolutely no effect on your gear changes whatsoever. Their job is to limit the range of movement the rear mech can move up or down the block. That's all they do. It's vitally important that they're set correctly. If your chain moves too far up the block, you run the risk of it hitting your wheel too far down the block and it may collide with your frame. In either case, you could cause damage to your bike or even an injury to yourself. Normally, you shouldn't need to worry about these screws as they would have been set when the bike was new. They rarely need adjustment unless somebody has been fiddling with them or the rear mech has been damaged in some way. To prove the limiter screws have no effect on the actual gear changes, I've disconnected the gear cable completely so the shifter is redundant. As I turn the pedals, you can see the chain is sitting nice and comfortably on the lowest sprocket. I'll now push the mech up the block with my hand and it stops at the largest sprocket. These screws are perfectly set, but if your chain frequently jumps off the cassette, it's a sign that you may need to adjust them yourself. The top limiter screw adjusts the mech's range at the bottom of the block. Using a crosshead or Phillips screwdriver, turn the screw clockwise to move it slightly further down the block and anti-clockwise to move it up. Similarly, you can use the other screw to make adjustments to the lower end of the range. Once you've set it, you're now ready to adjust your gears. For more about this, please watch my film, How to Adjust Your Rear Derailleur. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate and like, and check out some of my other films.